I am no expert. I just know that I've experienced a lot as a creative mind. And in the early part of the 1990s, that mind and heart connected and said, creativity is an addiction. And I remember writing about it in the journals and talking about, is, is this even possible? Creativity being an addiction? And then when you start looking at it and you start understanding it, you realize, wow, no wonder. Unplug because we will always say yes to creativity, totally uncut, because we all make mistakes. So turn it into a tool. This is Arrow Unplugged. I've always considered myself a people watcher. But at the same time, as I'm watching, people go, so what's your point of view? Share with me your words. And it's like, ugh, ugh, I'm a people watcher. That doesn't mean that I am a speaker, but you're on the radio. Don't you have a lot to say? Ugh, ugh. Yeah, but no. I'm not the only one who goes through this where, where people have this image of who you are or who they think you are, who they want you to be. And then and then when it comes to that moment where it's like you, you need to step up and say something. Ugh. Oh, man, it's just not who I am. You know, to be to be a radio talent, it really is. You're an actor. You're an actor over a 14 second intro of a song. Or if you're doing a podcast, you are an actor. So my acting right now, I don't want to be. I don't. I, I just know that when I come in here, it's it's not who I am because who I am is the writer. The writer then comes to the podcasting, who then has the voice. So so I had to build a real. And this is so far over so many people's heads. The writer looked at the radio person and said, "We got to collaborate." Okay, because we have words, we have lessons, we look at life, we, we, are, we are silent watchers, but we need to be heard. And, and I, I remember those conversations where the radio disc jockey in me, disc jockey, you know, the guy that talked over those song intros, he was like, I, 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 no, no. And I struggled with it back in the early part of 2010, 2011, and then I finally, finally took a chance and said, all right, let, let, all right, let, let's just try it. And that's how all of this has grown. It's by, you know, and, and you know what? I'm not the only one here because the, the people that are creative, in fact, I'm talking with Tommy Davidson here in about 12 minutes. Actor, comedian, musician, director, Tommy Davidson. I'm going to, I get 15 minutes with him. And this is one of the things we're going to talk about, about look at all of this that your mind has given you the opportunity to become a part of the music, the acting, the comedy, the writing. What if you would have said no to 90% of that? That's what this is all about. Quit saying no to yourself. Hey, it's Arrow. This is The Daily Mess, a chronological walk through an everyday world. I am a daily writer. And, and this is how you become visible when everybody else thinks you're invisible or they want you to be something else and you get to openly talk about it in your space of mindfulness this is the daily mess more today than any other time the truth about emotion is being openly talked about watching this movie spencer with with kristen stewart this isn't a fact-based film but rather an artist's depiction in fact they say it's a fable and how the viewers interpret the moving pictures will always point back to how we have been trained to review movies and study art. It's always with an opinion. But if you look deeper into this portrait that's being presented, the clear message here is emotion. In the way that my father would sternly tell his children, be seen, do not be heard. The layers that wrap around the true identity of who Lady Diana was and still remains is a locked up page in the history of royalty. No matter what's going to be written or presented in all things beyond the real story, the interpretation leads every one of us toward an opinion. Art will forever attempt to make its voice heard. And with it, there shall always be emotion. And remember when we would just look into her eyes and we felt emotion. It's almost like she was one of us that happened to be there in the royalty. And, and we, we really never understood what her eyes were saying, the windows to the soul. But in this movie, which is called Spencer, it's almost as if they're saying, this is what her eyes were sharing. 
It's not true. It's a fable. It even says it in the very beginning. It's a fable. It's an artist's depiction of a story. And what happens is it nothing bothers me more than when someone says, I hated it. It didn't because you wanted the story to be about this. And if that's what you wanted the story to be, then write it. We're all writers. We're all creators. But what I love about this is that it's about emotion. Emotion. We all have emotion, but we don't share our emotion. We keep it all trapped inside of here. And then all of a sudden, the emotion that comes out is usually anger or it's depression. We keep it trapped so tightly inside our mind, body and soul that it comes out differently because because I think on the inside we have critics. And those critics are saying, if I release it this way, it's going to be taken this way. And if I release it that way, then it's, oh, my God. Just tell yourself, I have emotions. It's not that I'm an artist. It's not that I'm a creative mind. I'm a human being. And when I was born, that book that I was supposed to bring from heaven or the universe into this place, I I, I left it back at the elevator. And, And I didn't get to the chapter that was based on emotions. I'm Aram, and that's The Daily Mess.